Hi beautiful people, how are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. So for today, I'm going to share with you a very easy flower that is a showstopper on your cake and without using any cutters at all. And it's none other than my very own Cherry Blossom or Sakura Bunch. See that? It's very pretty. So I'm gonna show you all my techniques from the center to the buds, to the petals, and to the leaves until to the full arrangement of this very gorgeous Sakura or Cherry Blossom Bunch. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. Okay, so right now we will be making the center or the stamens of the Sakura blossoms, okay? So first you need the thread and I normally put it on a container like this where my smaller wires are also located. So you need to first position your hands like a peace sign with your thumb in the middle. So you'll put the thread on the middle just like so and then your thumb will hold it on place, okay? You need to make rounds. I'm using ordinary thread, okay? Color yellow. You can also use white, but I prefer using yellow for this one. So you just need to make rounds, at least 20 rounds, okay? And then after that, because it needs to be very thin, you need to cut, okay? And then you need to remove your thumb in the center, so there is a space. And you will insert, this is wire number 24, color green. You can also use color white, and then you need to fold. Okay, and then you take it out and then what I love to do now you can actually twist the wire or if you have a long nose or pliers you just need to press okay so that it will hold on place just like so and then do the same on the other part okay and then fold then we need to press this with the pliers okay just like so and then you need to cut it in the middle. So you'll already have two pieces of stamens for this one. Then you need to get your floral tape color brown. Okay, because we're making sakura flowers. So we'll wrap this with floral tape. So it should be at this level. Okay, not lower, not higher, but at this level. Okay, so just pinch and then twist, pinch, twist pinch, twist, and then gently wrap the entire wire. Okay, so this is what you'll have. See that? And then after that, we need to open this one. So I'll just twist it up. And then gently spread the threads. Okay. Using a barbecue stick or a toothpick or you can simply use your hands. Okay. You just need to make the thread spread. Okay, just like that. See that? Okay, and then I will spray this with water. So I'm using a spray bottle with ordinary water inside. So what I will do, I'll spray this just to make the ends wet okay and then once the thread is wet i have here a container with this is gelatin powder and then i added color red petal dust i'm using rainbow dust just a tiny amount and then you need to shake it so what i will do since the thread is wet i'll dip this and you will see that there are the small pink pollens that will stick to the thread, okay? So this will be the center of our cherry blossom. So you need to make at least seven pieces of this one or five pieces, or it's up to you on how many flowers you would like to put on the stem, okay? You see that? It's very pretty. Okay. Okay, so now we will make the flower itself. So I have here a paste that I colored pink so it's white plus very little red and you'll have very light pink like so so it needs to be at least 1.5 centimeter okay that's 1.5 so what you'll do you need 
Uh, you need to gently knead and massage the paste, okay? Dab cornstarch, and one end should be pointed, just like so. See that? Like a teardrop. And then you need to dab cornstarch on top, okay? And then using your scissors, you need to cut through the center. It should be at least a half centimeter deep, okay? You need to cut five petals. Two, three, four, five, okay? And then what you'll have is something like this. You need to open gently and then dab cornstarch again. Okay, and then gently flat with your thumb and your finger, just like so. Okay, and then we put it on the foam pad. Dab cornstarch and dab cornstarch on the foam pad also, so it won't stick. And then using your ball tool, we need to pull this out, okay? So we'll have a closer look. So when pulling it out, if you're making sakura blossoms, you have to first pull out from one side, okay, and then another. And then you need to pull the entire petal, okay? So that you'll be having an irregular shape because that's how the real flower looks like, okay? So you need to do the same on all the other petals. Okay. Oops. Make sure that you have enough cornstarch so it won't stick. Okay, just like so. See that? I'm first pulling from the right and then to the left and then to the center and different directions, okay? So when you're pulling it out, uh, just gently slide the ball tool going outside and you'll have something that looks like so, okay? See that? And then what I'll do next, you need to get your centers, okay? It's like this one and you need to insert in the middle. Okay, no brown should be seen. Okay, and then you need to lock and press underneath and then the excess, just take it off and put this back inside your container and then this is what you'll have. So you need to make this on all the flower and then you can actually create movements with the petals. You can pinch them out and then remember to make this wider, okay, because later on we will dust the center, okay. See that? It's very pretty. Okay, so now we'll be making the cherry blossom buds. So I have here different sizes of ball, okay, from the paste. So it has to be different sizes. And the largest one that you can make is actually 2 cm, okay? So, and the smallest one, you can decide on how small you wanted the smallest bud to be. So this is how we'll do it. So first, you need to get your wire number 28, color green. Okay, you need to loop the end. Just like so. And then you need to insert. Okay, smoothen it out first with your hands. I still have green pigments. <laughs> okay, so insert it just like that. Okay. And then you need to lock the end as if you're making a cotton bud. Okay, it should just be like so. And then make it a little bit pointy but not too much. Okay, just like that. And then using your scissors, you need to create a cut. Okay. And then you need to create another. Just like that. And then twist it a little bit. Okay, it should look like that. You need to do it on all the different sizes. And then we will add the green calyx after and the leaves. Okay, so right now we will be making the different sizes of leaves for our cherry blossom bunch or sakura blossom bunch. So first you need to take a small amount of the green paste and then you need to get a wire. This is number 28, okay? Just insert, it's like so. No need to loop. Okay, and then you need to twist and twist as if you're making a cotton bud. 
just like so. Okay, and then make one end pointed. Okay, and then flat with your thumb. And there goes my chicken again, <laughs> saying, he saying hello to all of you. <laughs> okay, so you need to flat it as thin as you can, just like that. Okay, and then put it on your foam pad. Now, using your barbecue stick, you just need to pull out, okay, just to have those spiky leaf effect. Okay, and then after that, we need to press this on the veiner. Okay, and this is what we'll have. See that? And you can actually pinch it to create some movement. Okay, so you need to do it on different sizes, of course, for our sakura or cherry blossom leaves, okay? Okay, so right now we will be adding the green calyx on the end of the flower buds. Okay, so first I rolled out a paste, very thin, and then I used the plunger cutter to cut very small flower-like or snowflake-like green calyx okay so first what you need to do is need to make round on the edges okay so that it will be very thin and it will actually make it wider you see that so from here it becomes like this so gently just go around and it will be wider and thinner of course okay so you need to do this on all the calyx that you need and then using the edible glue uh, for the edible glue the Exact measurement is on the description box below. So dab first excess on your hands, okay? Just like that. So we put glue on the calyx, okay? Very little, not too much. And then you need to get one of your buds, okay? That we did earlier. And then just press through the center so you can get it. And then slide. We slide going up, okay? And then just press 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 and press okay so it should look like this and then later we will dust this with color green okay you see that it's very pretty so you need to do that on all the buds okay okay so now all the flowers are dried and the leaves will start dusting and adding details so i have here color pink dust and color green so first, uh, I'm using a very fine makeup brush, a very small one. So you need to dust the center very dark, okay? So I'm just putting dust on the center, you see that? Okay. And my chickens are saying hello to all of you again. <laughs> okay, just like so. See that? Need to make it darker. And then... Um, you could add some touches of pinks on some parts of each petal. See that? Not all, okay? On just some parts. Normally, I put pink dust on the ends. Okay, you see that? Just to add an impression. Okay, just like so. Okay, and there you have it. This is one of our sakura or cherry blossoms. Okay, and then for the buds. Okay, so this is one of our buds. So what you need to do first, you need to get very little amount of green dust. Okay, you need to dust the bottom part with color green. Okay, and then the end, we need to dust this with color pink. Okay. Just like so. See that? It's very pretty. Okay. And then, for the leaves. Okay, this is one of our leaves. You see that? So what you need to do, you need to dust this with color green. Okay, and then the ends, you need to dust with color red or color pink. Okay. Just the end and the bottom end, okay? So 
which should look like so. And then later on, we will assemble our cherry blossom or sakura bunch. Okay, so right now, we will be arranging our cherry blossom or sakura blossom on a bunch. So what I have here is wire number 23. So that's the very thick one. And then I combined two pieces and covered with brown floral tape, okay? So first, you need to get your sakura or cherry blossoms. So I'll bunch them up together. So probably around three pieces or four. Just like so, okay? So after I bunch them up together, I'll tie them using floral tape, color brown, okay? Gently twist. Just like so. Okay, and then we need to get a leaf. So I have here one of the leaves that we did earlier. So I'll just attach it a bit lower. Okay, and then bind it together using a floral tape, color brown, and then we'll attach it on this side, okay? So again, just continue wrapping with floral tape, okay, so that it will be very, very clean. Okay, so this is what we'll have. So after that, you need to arrange your flowers. It should be facing you. Okay. So just gently bend the flowers facing you. Okay. Just like so. Okay. And then uh, you just need to do the same and add the others. So I'll show you how to add a blossom on a bunch directly with a leaf. Okay, so first, you need your floral tape. You need to expand to activate the stickiness. And then, I'll get uh, one flower first. And then, I'll get one bud. And another that is slightly smaller. Okay, just like that. And then, I'll get leaves. Okay, so I have one leaf here. And another that is slightly larger. Okay, so what you need to do... First, I will align the bud, just like so. So the smallest should be the first one, okay? And then you'll add another, just like that. And then I'll add my blossom here, a bit lower, okay? And then I'll add one of my leaves. So I'll bend the wire, okay? And put it just right here, okay? And then I'll put the tape under, and then I'll wrap around first, oops, okay, just wrap around, and then wrap around, okay, and then just continue wrapping until everything is secure and on place. Okay, see that? So you need to use color brown floral tape. Okay. And then we'll arrange this one so it should be facing a bit us. Okay, and then this one also. And then for the buds, just move it a little bit. Okay, just like that. See that? It's very pretty. And then, of course, there's some green popping, so you need to cover that also with your floral tape, color brown, so that it will be very clean. So while I'm covering this, I can actually add a leaf, okay, just right here. And then I'll add another bud, a smaller one. Okay, just like that. Okay, I think I'll add another. <laughs> So it's better if it's two pieces, just like that. And then just continue wrapping with your floral tape. Make sure that no green wire will show so that it will appear very cohesive and clean, okay? 
So there you have it. This is our Sakura bunch. So you just need to continue the process of um, adding and adding. And of course, more flowers should be on the lower part of the stem. And as it goes higher, there are minimal flowers, okay? So you just need to continue wrapping and you're done with your Sakura Blossom bunch. Okay, see that? It's very pretty. Okay, so now you'll see uh, we are already done bunching up the flowers and the buds and the leaves on our stem. So just a tip, if you want to make it more realistic, you can actually add some dust on the floral tape, okay? Just to make it look like more of a wood or a branch. And then I actually used, uh, I have here a confectioner's glaze, so I'm using sugar craft. You can actually glaze your leaves, okay? Just paint them over just to make them a little bit shiny and glossy, okay? But that's optional. So if, if you just want it to make very realistic, okay? So there you have it. This is our cherry blossom bunch. <music>